What's up vapors? Nick here and today is Fresh Build Friday. Today we're going to be building a 24 gauge sleeper coil uh, that's basically a single strand of wire going all the way through two coils. I've never done this particular one before. I do have a dual parallel macro uh, sleeper coil build right now and it's really chucking the vapor. So I'm really excited to use 24 gauge wire and see the difference. Hopefully it'll end up being around 0.3 ohm. Let's give a little vape here. As you can see, chucking the vapor. And with this coil, it's a little more difficult because instead of wrapping one coil and inserting it into your RDA and then wrapping another coil, you have to use one single strand of wire. So you're wrapping a coil, putting it through, and then wrapping while it's already installed. So it's a little bit more difficult, but with a little practice, I'm sure you'll be able to get it. And with the 24 gauge wire, it's really thick and really interested to see what this comes out like. And all right, let's take a look at our tools, build her up. All right, so here as always, we have our ohm meter with our Patriot RDA on top. We have two 14 gauge syringe needles. Now you don't need to, but I find that it does help when wrapping your second coil to keep that first coil nice and tight. We have our tweezers, screwdriver, pair of pliers, and wire cutters. Here I have my 24 gauge cantle wire. It's about a foot here. That's about how much you're going to need. Um, and I do have my wicks pre-made. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is take your regular syringe needle here and wrap a standard micro coil. Today we're going to be doing eight wraps. And we're going to back that first lead away. Straighten it up a little bit. Now what you're going to do is take your long lead and feed it through the positive post on your RDA. And then insert your short lead into the negative terminal and here you can use your pair of pliers to tighten it up a little bit pliers are always handy when working with 24 gauge just because it's so thick now we're going to tighten down these connections Okay, so there's our first micro coil in place. And I'm going to clip this lead on the negative because it gets in the way. Okay. So now you want to take your So now you want to take your second syringe needle and place it right where you want your coil on the other side. And you're going to start wrapping. This is where the pliers really come in handy. Just get them as tight as possible. It's a little bit difficult.
Just keep checking it after every wrap. Let me tell you, this 24 is a dream to work with, though. Eh, get it, sleeper? Dream? <laughs> I need puns. Alright, so that's our eighth wrap. Now we're going to get this threaded through. So what you're going to do is get it to where it's almost a, another coil. It almost makes another coil, I should say. And then back out the needle a little bit and pull it all the way through. Now you want to adjust it a little bit. Try to get it even with the other one. And when you get it right where you want it, tighten it down. Okay, so this is where we're at right now. We have both our coils built. So now I'm just going to clip that wire. Now we're going to take our tweezers and squish up our coil a little bit. So there you go. Let's give it a quick resistance check. Uh, 0.28. Not bad. Today we're going to be using a Panzer Blackhawk and I have a fresh battery in here. So it should be reading right around 4.2 volts. Now at first you just want to pulse it just to see if you have any shorts or anything. Right now we're looking pretty good though. Squish up your coils a little bit when they're hot, just make sure you're not firing the button at the time. Alright, we're looking pretty good. So let's wick it juice it up and see how it vapes. So as you can see here I have my little pre-rolled wick and now we're going to install it on our new sleeper coil. So I'm going to actually clip a little bit of this side off here. You wick it pretty much the same as any micro coil. Put the first tail of cotton right underneath the coil itself and then fill up the rest of the deck with fluffy cotton. Now you don't want too much cotton, but it does tend to shrink up a little bit once it's getting heated up. So I usually put in a little bit more than I think it needs and it ends up being just right. There's one completed wick and it's super speed time. Alright, so there's your wick. Now we're going to juice it up, 
see how it vapes. Oh yeah, looking good. Look at all that vapor. Hear that? That's a crackling coil right there. Woo! Tons of vapor. Very dense, thick vapor too, which is really what I, I'm looking for. Uh, as far as the flavor, uh, this juice is really fruity and tart, and uh, I really get a lot of the high end of flavor. And the throat hit, it's definitely noticeable, but it's not too over the top. I really love the density of this one, and it makes for a really good connection on your positive post, because instead of having two strands of wire going through like a normal dual coil, there's only one. So you tighten it down real tight, and you get a really great connection. It measures in at 0.3 ohms uh, for eight wraps per side. That's pretty impressive. Hence the name Sleeper. Basically, it's something that you don't expect to create such a good cloud, but it does. And that this coil is definitely one of my new favorites. Um, I've been rocking one of these for about a week now, and I just love it. Uh, it gives me a really good vape. As you can see, it produces massive amounts of vapor. One thing I do want to note is that when you have a coil that's measuring you know 0 0.3, 0 0.2, anything like that or below, it's really going to drain your battery quick. Off of a fully charged battery, I'll get about an hour or two of vaping before I start to notice a slight voltage drop. Now for the difficulty of this build, it is a bit difficult because you really have to crank that wire with your pliers to wrap it around the uh, opposite side of your second coil and it's a little bit difficult to get it in the second negative post but other than that if you're an experienced builder this one should be alright for you just make sure your coils are nice and tight and even and it should fire up pretty good for you what kind of coil should I build next let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to get around to it as soon as possible don't forget to like favorite and subscribe and as always vape on